Alright, so I want to do an updated video since we're going to be looking at the sun, hopefully, in just a bit, uh, later in the video. Um, this here is the Power Seeker 80 EQ, and um, this cone right here has, <laughs> has to uh, come off for me to be able to put the solar filter on. So you take your dust cap off, like so. And I'm going to throw that over here in this chair. And then somehow, magically, I have to do this with one hand, but you want to take this tube here, the front tube, and you don't want to slide it off, which I have to take my hand and hold the telescope so it doesn't move. Hopefully I can get my hand in there to turn it a little bit. Uh, anyways, I'm going to have to put the phone down for a second, and uh, I'll show you once I get it off. Okay, 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 okay. So, as you can see here, this... This cone on the side here is slowly coming off, and this is the do this is the dew shield that comes off. Hopefully now I can kind of turn it. Nope, still can't turn it yet. So I have to come back once I get this turned a little bit more. So hopefully you can see that how this part of the tube is slowly coming off. Which this is called the dew shield for many of you that don't know. So what you call a dew shield, and this will hopefully now. <laughs> There you go, so now it comes off. And then here's the dew shield. That's how this comes off, is what the dew shield looks like. And then, this is towards the front of where the, the you can't see too well, but back in there is the lens. And what you do is, is uh, put your cone, your dew shield to the side, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the dew shield on. And there's the sun right there. Hopefully the sun will be rising here shortly. I'll go ahead and get the solar filter and show you how to put it on. Alright, so this here is the Thousand Oak Optical. And uh, my uh, my solar filter is fogging up now because of the temperature change outside. So you're probably going to need to give this, this glass a little bit of time to uh, warm up to the temperature outside. But you can kind of see how it's fogging up there in the center. But anyways, this is the Thousand Oaks Optical uh, Solar Filter. And the way you put this on is, is you take the cap here and you slide it over this like so. Now I like to keep the Thousand Oak Optical at the top and you have to kind of press it on uh, because it doesn't fit too well. Um, it fits snug once you get it on the front of the telescope, but uh, you'll have to kind of push it in a little bit to get it to sit against the uh, the outer side of this uh, telescope. And you want to be careful when you move this, make sure that it's nicely snug. This is why I recommend that if you're going to put this solar filter on, you uh, you be very make sure that it's nice and snug before you rotate the tube so it doesn't fall off and you don't break your, uh, your solar filter. Because this is, I believe this is glass and if it takes a fall it's likely going to shatter or crack. So be careful when you uh, when you go about uh, taking that uh, turning your solar your solar or your telescope towards the sun or whatever uh, there's the sun over there just now rising in the morning here in Florida solar filter is on uh, now but it's still a little bit fogged up there on the front you can kind of see where the fog is on the on the uh, the solar filter so I might need a little wait a little bit before uh, wait for the glass to kind of warm up with the temperature outside since it was a little bit colder where it was stored at. We'll be looking at the sun soon. So hopefully you guys can see there, up at the top-ish, right-ish, there's actually a solar spot is what it looks like on the sun. We're actually seeing that little black dot, hopefully you can see on the sun there. Looks like we got a solar spot. Let's see if I can bring it down a little bit. There you go. Hopefully you can see that little black dot right there on the sun. I'm using a 10 millimeter eyepiece with a uh, without a Barlow lens using the Thousand Oaks Optical uh, Glass 2 Plus solar filter and it's early morning hours. The sun is in the east sky right now uh, getting ready to fully rise. Well, it's actually halfway risen already but you can kind of make out the uh, the solar little solar spot that's on the sun there. Can I see that black solar spot right there? See if I can zoom in on it a little bit. 
There we go. Maybe you guys can see that solar spot right there. It's a little bit blurred now, but made it a little bit bigger. It's hard for me to tell what it, how the quality looks through the phone, but this is being recorded through a phone. And again, this is a, uh, a 10 millimeter eyepiece without a two times Bardo lens. And uh, we're looking at the sun through the morning hours. And uh, of course, I won't know what the quality looks like until after I uh, upload it or get to produce, get ready to produce it. But there you go, you can kind of see the solar spot there. Kind of see that black solar spot right there.